because you're the fan, I refuse to turn it off, it's too fucking hot. Um, fancy something different done with my hair. Um, so yeah, there we go. So, there we go. Comment below what you think. I know, beard ginger, hair silver, I'm alright with it. And they, to answer everybody's questions, it's probably going to ask all at the same time. Because, just because. I'd like to say thank you to my wife for doing it. And uh, yeah, there we go. See you soon. Hey everybody, welcome to Nine Liner Tattoo. So, what's that he said? I've been in your shop and the couch isn't usually there. And their prints are usually on the wall. That's odd. What could it mean? Hmm. Hey everybody. Sorry for the bullshit cheesy start. Um, yes, you're not ready to see all that yet, but it's coming. Um, this video, before I get into it, this video is... Um, bittersweet. Um, found out a couple of days ago or so that I can now start to come back and tattoo. As of the 22nd of July. So, um, more about that, I think probably in the next video. Or maybe in this one, it depends how, how this one goes. As you can see, I'm in the shop. Um, I'm doing some stuff in the shop. Um, you'll see boxes and such like and so on, etc, etc. I'm doing stuff in the shop just to get it up to standard, um, up to hygiene. It's always hygiene standard, but you know, with the, the corona stuff that's happening. But again, I'll go into that. That, that, will, ha that, <clears throat> that will have its own full video. Um, but this one is, is twofold. Um, I'm going to start with the sad stuff and finish with the good stuff, I think. Today is Saturday. Thursday, Sarah and I were, for the last few weeks, we've been doing the same thing. We've been splitting our view and pleasure between Shameless, uh, the British one, because we've never seen it. We'd watch six or seven of them during the day or whatever, and then watch a couple of something called Kingdom, about MMA fighters, it's really good. Um, sit and draw and paint, take the dugs out, mess about, just the usual life stuff, um, everything was fine. And then I woke up about half past seven feeling a bit rotten on Friday morning yesterday. Um, come downstairs and upstairs sleeps Compton, my chihuahua. Um, the chihuahua cross, the black one, on the bed. Mina, the old lab, sleeps at the foot of her bed because um, it's laminate flooring and she struggles with the heat so she likes a cold laminate floor. She has a downy cover there as well but she chooses to sleep on the floor. And downstairs sleeps Yoji the Dalmatian and Vincent who sleeps in his little man cave. It's a pet carrier but it's, it's for him it's huge, you know, he can stand both ways in it, it's massive but he likes the feeling he's sleeping in there at night. And uh, I came downstairs and first thing Vinny does is sort of give it the, let me, let me, I want to kiss, I want to kiss, so I let him out, and then Yoji comes over, and he didn't come over, and uh, I went to see him, and he, he just looked not great, um, so I gave him some water, I let him out for a pee, um, he just, he just looked really weak and really sad, you know, and um, he's very much my boy, um, 14 and a half years ago, we got him, and I went to Cooper and Fife on the train, I brought him back, he was a rescue pup. The people that had him, not the rescue people obviously, but the people that had him for a few months, they, they mistreated him really badly. He'd never seen daylight, he'd never seen a TV, he'd never seen rain, he'd never seen snow, he'd been kept in a sort of cupboardy thing in the kitchen. So I brought him home on the train and that, so what was it, two hours or three hours or whatever it was, I forget, it was 14 and a half years ago. On the train, he wouldn't settle down, he just, he was struggling. So he sat in between my legs, looked up at me and I just started tapping his forehead and his nose and all over the place and just gently, and he fell asleep. And um, we got off the train, Wallaford, and it was snowing and he didn't know what to do. And uh, we played in the park in the snow for about an hour Sarah came in because she was still at home. She came to meet me with the we again in the park and we played in the park for ages and it was incredible. And that face tapping thing, I had done that forever for fourteen and a half years. And uh, he was like, he was my friend, and uh, I miss him because unfortunately we had to put him to sleep yesterday. Um,
Sorry about that. Um, just for the record, I have no problem crying on camera. I've, I've got no problem f crying in front of anybody. Or I, I don't give a shit what anybody thinks, but I, just, I couldn't hold the thing anymore anyway. It doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, everything was fine on Thursday night. Um, went to bed, woke up, and by three o'clock in the afternoon, we didn't have them anymore, and my friend's gone. So, um... I don't want anybody watching this to think that it was just mine. My wife loved him more than people can possibly imagine. We just, he was, you know, and it's it's, it's okay to say because she says the same thing, but he was a daddy's boy. He was very much my boy. Um, and, yeah, I won't go into the various issues, but um, turn, obviously we knew we were making the right decision, but just to get you know, clarity from the vet beforehand and all that sort of, it doesn't matter anyway, he's, he's gone, but, um, so yeah, I'm going to show you some pictures and some stuff of him now, and again, it's sad, but again, again, I don't want to repeat myself, but if you watch video number one, I don't know what number this is, 60 odd, 70 odd, if you watch video number one, this YouTube channel was never just about tattoos, it was never, it, it was never about just tattoos, so, um, it's about tattooing, yeah, because that takes up a third of my life. Um, family, music, and tattooing. And the animals come under the family, because as I've spent to you in the video before, when my, my parents' dog passed away, um, they're, no, they're no pets to us. They're, that's why I'm saying my, I'm, I miss my friend. Um, so, yeah, not great. So I'm going to show you some stuff of him and try and celebrate his life, because, uh, you know, he's, he's my boy. And then I'm going to go home and I'm going to tattoo his name on myself, which you'll see in a minute. Um, and yeah, that's the, the negative part of this video. said 22nd which is 10 days I believe Wednesday next not this Wednesday coming but next again tattoo shops in Scotland can open um, I think England's different I'm not going to comment on that because I'm not there but it's, I think it might be Monday if you're watching this and you're in England and you're not sure pretty sure it's Monday for the guys 12th I'm not sure anyway um, 13th something like that but anyway Wednesday the 22nd I can open so the next video that I do is going to show you how the shop looks now um, and explain the rules of coming again not to tattoo shops but coming to my tattoo shop um, I'll check government rules and everything will be done the way it's supposed to be done but not everybody's going to do it like you'll have say there's there's 10 things you have to do everybody will do them but there'll be slight nuances that'll be different you, I'm sure you understand how it goes um, so yeah, um, next video will be all about the rules, and this will be, and this is what I was saying to my brother on the phone earlier on, he called me up to say, he was sorry to hear about the dog, um, I was saying to him on the phone, and saying to my wife and that, that I think what people need to realise is that this is not going to go away quick, so without sounding like a, you know, a preacher or whatever, I think as long as we get into our heads that things that we have to do now are things that we're going to have to do for a while, then... I don't understand what the issue is. Just do it, you know? Wear a mask when you go into shops. Do the rules. Do what you have to do. If you do it enough like anything else, it'll become second nature and it'll become part of your life until things get back to normal or a different version of normal, you know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, the next video is going to have a tour of the shop. Like, I'm going to do it from a customer's point of view. Um, I'll maybe get my, my wife to pretend to be a customer to come into the shop, so... Um, yeah, we can run through it a couple of times without getting it wrong and then going, oh no, we're in trouble because we're not, and I'll be fine. So yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll do two separate parts of the video next time. I'll splice it between the customer's view, my view, and what you have to do to come in and get a tattoo, okay? So I hope you enjoy this video, and I'm, I'm not going to apologise for it being sad because, again, like I said, it's life. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it and stick about for the check this out at the end. Um, yeah, take it easy. Bye. Hey everybody, welcome to Check This Out. This one's going to be quite quick.
um, let's check this out because I have an itchy hooter. Because there's not really much I can say about. Holy shit! There's no more. <laughs> There's so much I can say about this record that hasn't been said by somebody somewhere all over the world at some point. And my nose is a chest. I've got multiples of this record, multiples of another one. But I chose this version of this record, A, because it was a gift from someone, and B, because it's uh, a first edition, if you like, first copy, original pressing. Um, so I'm just going to get into it. I'm going to give you a little clue. No. <laughs> so yeah, anybody that knows me knows how big a Nirvana fan I've always been since Bleach. Bleach is still to my to this day marginally my favourite Nirvana record. Um, I think it it tosses up daily between Bleach and In Utero. Um, Bleach is because I'd never heard anything like it and it blew my fucking mind. Um, In Utero because. A, the songs on it are absolutely outstanding. The filthy, dirty, nasty sounds great. Albini's incredible. But they also, they gave it to the record company and the record company were like, this is what you're following up. Never mind, we can't put that out. And I think that for me back then, and even now was like, uh, yep, yeah, that's exactly why we're putting it out, you know? Um, but anyway, I digress. The record I suggest you check out is Never Mind. Let me just make sure my camera's on so you can see yeah never mind um now like i say this album's incredible it really it, i mean for most people this is where nirvana began um, but my friend martin um helped me do some stuff in the shop when it first opened. helped me do a lot of stuff in the shop when it first opened um, he taught me to drive um martin's been a good friend of mine for a long 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 time we kind of lost track for a long time but recently we started to rekindle our friendship again if you like but um Sounds like Sir Hunt of the Waltons, doesn't it? But anyway, he gave me this as a gift, and it's an original press in German version of Nevermind. Um, it's not in German. Please don't ask if it's in German, <laughs> okay? Because uh, I won't I won't reply. But um, yeah, it just looks the same. just looks the same, but there's a few various little differences and stuff. But yeah, it is a first edition, first um, press in German version. Um, yeah. For a lot of people, 91 was the year Nirvana took over the world, and it probably was, but for me it was just the year that Nirvana began to get to where they were going, i.e. in utero, um, for me. I just think in utero is far superior than anything that's ever been done. The only problems I have, one major problem I have with Nevermind, and it's, a lot of, uh, it's one reason people do like it, is one of the reasons I don't like it as much, and I'm sure you know why I'm going to say it, but it's because it's so polished. Not because it's... For, for them, obviously, for the stories are that people that used to beat people like us up suddenly were like, oh, Nirvana's great, man. We love them wearing check shirts and all that sort of stuff. That's fine. That that used to bother me because I used to get the shit kicked out of me for looking how I look. But now it it, it doesn't bother me as much as the polished sound of, the, of, of Nevermind. Um... I do have a special edition that has a filthy, dirty, unedited sound, and it could have been so much better. But it wouldn't have, if they'd done it on Nevermind, it, a neutral wouldn't have had the impact it had when it came out, you know what I mean? So, anyway, I said this was going to be short, didn't I? Lie. Anywho, I suggest you check out Nevermind by Nirvana. And Bleach and your neutero and incesticide which a lot of people think is another album and it is but it's a covers album um check out every single band on that covers album and check out the original versions of them as well and then check out the whole band and there's some beautiful stuff on there vaselines there's some there's just some gems on that record i love incesticide as well um yeah, I've got, what else did I, I've recently, uh, no, recently, maybe a year and a half ago, I pre-ordered it, when it before it came out, it was a live Redden, 92, um, I used to work with a guy, a tattooer called Ian, and um, i never seen Nirvana live, it just didn't pan out, um, I had tickets to see Nirvana once, didn't go, um, we chose to go and see, ugh, I forget who it was now, but uh, yeah, we didn't go. Um, mistake, I know. Anyway, um, I used to work with a guy and he, he was there at that Redden event, but he was that fucking drunk that he doesn't even remember Nirvana. And when I worked with him, he used to tease me all the time whenever Nirvana came up, that, oh yeah, yeah, I seen them at Redden 92, I forget, were you there? And I'm like, motherfucker. But uh, yeah, such is life, eh, such is life. 
Um, but hey, anyway, I suggest you check out Nirvana, everything. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, sorry it's been sad with the dog and stuff, but hey, if I'm sad, you should be fucking sad as well. Eh? Um, but seriously, I think that uh, it's part of life. So, um, hey, thank you for watching. And again, the next video will come pretty soon, within the next 10 days anyway. Probably in the next week. My wife's coming through to help me do a little bits and bobs and then like I say, we'll do the dry run and we'll show you how it's going to be. All right? But in the meantime, stay safe, stay calm, and I'll see you soon. Peace.